So glad you're watching 7 News Live at 5 today. This countdown is on for the big total solar eclipse. It's happening on August 21st. It's sneaking up on us, isn't it? Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson shows us why NASA will team up with both professional and amateur scientists all over the country. The total solar eclipse on August 21st is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity for the Western Carolinas. While thousands will head out to watch this event, many will be studying it. They're not all going to be dead center. Dr. Sean Britton is a professor of astronomy and physics at Clemson University. He and a team of scientists are working with NASA on the Continental America Telescope Eclipse Experiment, or Citizen Kate. So, this is the telescope. Telescopes will be set up along the path of totality from Oregon to South Carolina to take pictures while the eclipse is underway. And this is really important for understanding space weather. It has important implications for communication satellites and protecting very expensive equipment that we have in orbit around the Earth. This is a once in a, a lifetime event in, a, in the sense of having this very long uh, path. And you have two and a half minutes to get your data, and if something doesn't go right in those two and a half minutes, you've lost it. So there's some pressure here that isn't typical of, of doing astronomy. To conduct a successful scientific experiment, everything has to be standardized. Now, this is one of 70 identical telescopes that NASA has given to Clemson that range all across the country from Oregon to South Carolina, and these are going to be taking pictures during the total eclipse. Afterwards, scientists are going to piece together all the images from across the country to be able to observe the sun's activity during that 90-minute transit across the country. Dr. Britton says the pictures will help today's scientists and tomorrow's as well. But getting interested in science early has is an important foundation for a very wide range of careers. You know, we're a very technological society and our careers are going that direction. The next total solar eclipse won't happen in the Carolinas for another 35 years, so don't let distractions cause you to miss it. Uh, my cell phone will be off, so it's uh, <laughs> no interruptions during that two and a half minutes. That's right. So in the afternoon, hopefully clear skies go dark. Scientists will be working hard to shed light on the mysteries of the sun. All right, and if you want to see the exact time the eclipse is going to be over your house, folks can check out our map from NASA. You can find it on WSPA.com under links we mentioned. So you're talking to all these professional astronomers, right? Yeah. But, I, I mean, this eclipse is different in that everyone who sees it has a phone in their pocket. Yeah. Well, does that help at all for all of us to contribute our pictures to that? Well, these telescopes are going to be set up to the, the same angle to where when they string all those pictures together, uh -huh. you're going to be able to make a movie out of it. So that everything is very precise, and that's why this experiment is so cool that Clemson's a part of it. It is cool. It's very